Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Erin with Arizona Science Center and we have another super fun activity for you today. So before we get into the activity, let me introduce you to our book today. So today we are going to be reading 10 Apples on Top by Dr. Seuss. Oh my gosh, I cannot explain how much I love Dr. Seuss books, but we are going to get started with this. So. This is 10 Apples on Top by Dr. Seuss. One apple on top. Two apples on top. Look you, I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. Three, three, I see. I see. You can do three, but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. Look, see, now I can hop with four apples on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples on top of me. Look here, you two. See here, you two? I can get five on top. Can you? I am so good. I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top. I am so good. They will not drop. Guys, that is so many apples. Five, six, seven. Fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we are as good as you. Look. Now we have seven, too. And now, see here, eight. Eight on top. Eight apples up. Not one will drop. Eight. Eight. Now we can skate. Look now, we can skate with eight. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. We can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are as good as you. We all are very good, I think. With nine, we all can hop and drink. Nine is very good. But then, come on, and we will make it ten. Look, ten apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. Look out, look out. I see a mop. Uh-oh. What do you think's going to happen? What's going to happen to their apples? I will make the apples fall. Get out, get out, you. One and all. Come on, come on, come down this hall. We must not let our apples fall. Out of our way, we cannot stop. We cannot let our apples drop. This is not good, what will we do? They want to get our apples too. This will get them if we let them come. We cannot let them get them. Look out, the mop, the mop, the mop. You cannot stop our apple fun. Our apples will not drop. 
Not one. One second. Sorry about that. <laughs> come on, come on, come one. Come all, we have to make the apples fall. They must not get our apples down. Come on, come on, get out of town. Apples, apples up on top. All of this must stop, stop, stop. Now all our fun is going to stop. Our apples all are going to drop. Oh my goodness! Look! Ten apples on us all! What fun! We will not let them fall. The entire story, the apples did not fall. Now, oh my gosh, I love these stories so much. What's really cool about Dr. Seuss books, you can find a bunch of fun activities to do with them just like today's activity. Okay, so today's activity is all about balance. I'll leave that right there. So balancing apples is not easy because it's not like they're easy box with a flat top. You can just stack and stack and stack. Apples are a little bit of a weirder shape. Now, I don't have apples, and I definitely don't have 10 apples, but if you have apples, you can definitely try and stack as many as you can up on top. But what I do have is I found this really cool thing. So this is, let me open it up. So what's inside is this kind of foam stuff, and what's on the outside is just this like canvas material. So what I wanna try and do, and what I want you guys to try and do I want you to try and find a bunch of different things to stack. To start off with, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a golf tee because it has a flat top. And I'm going to use this little toy hammer. I'm gonna... oh. You want to make sure it's flat. Now what I also have are a bunch of different kinds of balls. So I have a tennis ball, I have a plastic one, a ping pong, and then a foam one. This you could actually do magic tri magic tricks with because you can hide it and it reappears. So what I want to try and do is I want to try and balance these balls on this pool tee. And I want to see how well I did. Now I will warn you it's a little bit windy so the lighter balls might fall off but I'm gonna blame the wind not my balancing skills. Yeah no. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> it balances. Now, if something isn't balancing, why do you think it's not balancing? Why do you think it's falling down? Now, what I want you to try and do is grab a bunch of different stuff and try and balance it. Now, what's really cool is if you don't have a block like this or any type of foam, that's totally fine. Cardboard works exactly the same. I'm actually going to try and test it because... This is kind of a special thing that I found at work. So maybe not everyone has it, but I want to make sure everyone can do this activity. So what I also found is a giant box. What's really cool is these tees you can poke into the top. So it'll work just the same. All you have to do is use a cardboard box and then you can try and balance something on the golf tee. Now, if you don't have golf tees, if you don't have a cardboard box, or you just don't want to if you don't want to balance it that way, what you can also do is try and find a bunch of random items. Like what I had was toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls because I'm actually collecting them for a, another activity that I'm doing, but I had a bunch of them. So what I can do is I can use them and I can try and stack them on try and stack them on top to see how many I can get. Now in the story, 
They got up to 10 apples. I have no idea if I have 10 rolls or not. But let's see. I got four. Now this one's a paper towel roll, so it's a little bit heavier. Let's see if I can get it. Oh my gosh, my table's rocking. It stood up for like two seconds, so I'll take it as a victory. Now, what you can also do is you can also grab different boxes. Now in these, I have the little balls, but I also have little boxes. Now what you can do, which is really fun, is you can actually try and balance this on its side and try and stack up things that way and see how high you can get. Because stacking boxes, it's easy. And trying to find pieces of paper to stack, that's easy. What I want you to try and do is I want you to try and find things that might be a little bit harder to stack. Now, as you are stacking these things, what I want you to think about is, just like with my paper towel rolls, they fell over. Why did they fall over? Was, is it the paper towel? Is it the paper towel roll or is it how I'm stacking them? Could I stack them more carefully or could I stack them differently so that they don't fall over? Because your goal is you want to get it as tall as you possibly can. Now, my last question. When you are stacking things, do you think it's important what you're stacking it on? For example, I have this little table thingy just like a little table thing. This table is on another table, <laughs> but it's a flat surface. Do you think it'd be as easy to stack something on, say, rocks or something that's kind of slanted a little bit? Because as you can see, things just kind of fall. Now, if I try and stack this up and I tip it over, oh, I barely touched it and it fell over. <laughs> but if I try and tip over the table, is it still going to stay up? I don't know. These are pretty cool questions to ask. Now, try and find a bunch of random stuff around your house or wherever you are and try and stack them. It doesn't need to be the same thing. You can stack different things on top of each other. That's totally fine. You can stack an egg carton. You may mean, it's windy. That's why that fell over. You can stack cups. You can try and stack anything that you can find. I want you to see how high you can stack it. Now, for this, in the book, they were only stacking apples. So they weren't using tape or glue or anything like that. So you can't use any of that stuff. All you can use are a bunch of different materials to stack them. You can stack the same material, or you can find a bunch of different materials and stack them and see how high you can stack them up. <laughs> so there you go again my name is Erin I'm with Arizona Science Center if you want to find other activities just like this that come with a story or if you want other really fun activities like fun DIY sciences to do at home with a bunch of different materials that cover a wide range of different sciences go ahead and head over to azscience.org we have a bunch of activities for you there with supply list, instructions, fun videos to go along with them. And of course, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have fun doing all the activities. Bye!